welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Sheila and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. As you can tell by my title down below, my video is going to be about. So if you're interested in this video, then please stay tuned. But don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And join Sheila's gang, y'all. We're on the road to 300 subscribers, so let's get, get, get it. And without further ado, y'all, let's hop right into this video. Okay, guys, so today I just wanted to come on camera to do a how I clean my makeup brushes. So yeah i just want to show you the products that i'm going to be using for the sake of this video um i'm going to be using zach the bronner's like 18 in 1 hemp peppermint pure castle soap if you've never heard of it sis i don't mean let me let me let me let this focus right here all the little nasty brushes you can see y'all filthy nasty they are um sponges and all just nasty so we're just gonna clean these guys and show you guys how they look when we get through i'm gonna face the camera towards the sink so you guys can say sis okay guys so the first thing you're gonna do is you're just going to fill a bowl i already put the little brushes inside of here just to let them sit y'all i'm gonna show you how to clean the big brushes and then i'm gonna show you what i do i put all my small brushes inside of the same solution but i'm gonna do this differently um, what, I'm, what you're gonna first you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on some water, let the water run. Lukewarm water or hot is your preference only, wherever you can stand. Then you're gonna take your pure Castile soap, whatever kind of soap that you use, and you're just gonna put like a couple of droplets in the water. Then you're gonna take your palm olive soap as well. It's an antibacterial and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria in the brushes. And then you're just gonna squeeze a good healthy amount in there. Got it on my fingers. And then you're just gonna go in with your first brush. And you just gonna take the solution, wiggle it around in there. This brush is not that dirty. So I'm just gonna clean it like that. Clean it. Like I kind of just clean it with the solution first and then I gotta go back over it with water. It is really, really dirty. cleaning all of my brushes finally um i put them in this cup that i got from walmart it's like this little cute little teacup y'all it's so cute but i don't use it anymore i have another one and i just put all my brushes in here and i'm like you like whatever and i'm gonna let them sit in here for like two to three days just so that they can dry fully before i apply any product to them but a key note to remind yourself of is like if you're heavy with makeup and you use makeup a lot, be sure to clean your brushes regularly. Um, I'm investing right now in the um, cleaner. Um, I think the brush cleanser thing that you can scrub your brushes against. And I also want to invest in the electronic um, brush cleaner. But for the time being, I just clean my brushes how I did. So... Just keep them clean because you don't want bacteria to get on your face because bacteria does come in your brushes when you keep using it over and over again. Then you set the brush down, it contacts all kind of dirt and all kind of bacteria from different surfaces. So make sure that you keep that in mind, especially if you use makeup like constantly every day or every other day. 
every other day. Make sure that you clean your brushes like two to three times a week. Like, the, especially the ones that you, you know you use regularly. Anyway, um, I myself do not really use makeup as much like every day. I might use it every other day or when I'm doing a tutorial. So I don't have to clean my brushes as much. But after I get through using my brushes, I go back and clean the ones that I use because I know that I'll probably have to use it again and then it's going to be gunk in there and then I'm going to be mad. So just make sure you keep your brushes clean so you won't get all these get all this like nasty bumps in your face or like I mean a lot of people don't know but keeping your face clean also includes keeping your brushes clean because if you don't keep your brushes clean that allows blemishes to come on your face that allow like bumps and all that stuff that we don't want on our face to come like acne so make sure you keep your stuff clean and make sure that you're the only one that's using it especially if you're using it every day and if somebody else is using your brush sis it's nasty but if, say, for instance, you're a makeup artist, make sure that you clean your brushes because some people don't know to clean their brushes. They'll, like, just go in, do somebody's brows, and then go in and do somebody else's brows. Make sure that you clean them regularly. You know what I'm saying? But, y'all, enough of my rambling about me cleaning my brushes because, you know, I know y'all keep your brushes clean, sis. And if you don't, then I just gave you some tips on what you can do to clean your brushes. If you don't have the electronic brush cleaner or you don't have the little scrubber brush cleaner, um, like I said, like I told you guys before, I use the Pure Castile Soap um, by Dr. Bronner's to clean my brushes with, along with the Palm Olive um, Antibacteria Soap right here. I put these together and it works wonderful for my brushes. So, if you have, you can get these both products at Walmart, maybe Target, CVS or something like that. But I know you can get this from Walmart if you're looking for this particular soap. It will be over there with the face care products, like um, with the Burt's and Bees and stuff at. So check out over there. And the Palm Olive, you can get this. I think I'm saying this right. Palm Olive, <laughs> um, you can get this from just like the reg regular detergent aisle. Like where you get like the soap and stuff like that. So that's enough of me rambling about keeping your brushes clean i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial guys if you did then please like it leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of um materials you use to clean your brushes or any suggestions that you might give me so that i can take with me every day I and also subscribe to my channel and join Sheila's gang y'all i'm on the road to 300 subscribers let's get 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 it um my goal is to get 300 subscribers by january so let's get it y'all tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend but um Without further ado, guys, thank you guys for tuning into my channel. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.